um, I am actually back here in this space vlogging for probably about the first time in a year and a half. It's been on my to-do list for a while, um, but I just haven't quite got around to it. And it's been so long that I again got back to the point of being a little, a little bit of a tit in front of the camera. So today is a day and I thought I would just come and do it and not worry about feeling a little bit stupid. So anyway, um, I have just got back from a run. I've been out and run about 5K. Um, Lois in bed. Kiki and BC have gone out with their dad for a few hours and Bay has got extra gym practice so I've got a couple of hours to myself. So I'm going to vlog and eat a load of food so I'm starving after running and probably do a little bit of work but I thought I'd pop on here quickly and say hello um, and just talk a little bit about goals for this year. Um, I don't tend to set resolutions because they normally end up getting broken, you know, if you can say I'm going to run every day or I'm not going to eat all the chocolate, but you just break them after a few weeks. So I tend to set goals, something that I can work towards. Um, one of my goals is vlogging again, so I'm kind of trying to start off on the right foot with that one. I'm hoping to do vlogs every week, maybe more, I don't know what about, because I haven't really got that far in thinking. but. I just figured I'd dive in today and start. Um, I actually posted a post on my blog the other day with a whole list of all of my goals. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm full of cold. Um, so I don't know if you've seen that, but I thought I'd go through a couple of my other goals with you here today. Um, I thought I'd go through a couple of my other goals on here as well. So my big goal for the year is to learn to drive because it is driving me crazy. <laughs> that I can't drive anymore, um, right now even. So I am busy in the midst of studying for my theory test. I'm hoping to get my theory done very soon and then once I've passed that, fingers crossed, I am gonna go start having lessons and actually like, try to learn to drive because for so many of us now, it's one, it's really expensive on buses and trains to get places and we don't fit in other people's cars because you know, if it's me and all the kids, it's like five of us. Um, and it just makes going places really difficult. There's a lot of places around here where we go like out into the countryside for the day and we just can't go because you know the buses and the trains don't run there or you know you've got to walk to the train station here and then take a train and then walk miles when you get somewhere else and it ends up being a huge mission for a couple of hours out or something. Um, and also for like the big girls do lots of groups in the evenings and stuff. Um, and it's too dark, especially in the winter, for them to walk there or back at all. Um, if I, so I'm, at the minute I'm paying for a load of taxis because otherwise I'd have to drag everybody across town to pick them all up. And Beast is normally in bed by the time they need picking up, so it just doesn't work out. So yeah, 2018 will be the year that I learn to drive. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'll afford to get a car yet, but I figured I'd worry about that one later down the line. But I think it will make a huge big difference to our lives. Just having the freedom to be able to go out somewhere for the day when we feel like it. And I've kind of toyed with the idea of moving. Um, not necessarily far enough, probably stay in Wales, but maybe up the coast. But one, I figure if I learned to drive first, it would give me the freedom to be able to go and pick a house wherever I want to be, rather than just being reliant on picking a house because it's near a bus station or a train station. And also, I might not want the urge to move anymore when I can drive because we'd be able to just go out where we want whenever we feel like it anyway. So, you know, we shall see. But if you've got any good tips for passing your theory or your practical or anything, then please let me know because I'm kind of quite nervous about the thought of having to be behind the wheel of a car. But it's the kind of the next big step in life that I need to do. And Lola's going to be able to drive in two years, so I have to be able to pass my test before she does. <laughs> So one of my other goals as well is to run um, a 5k race, um, although actually kind of since I wrote that I've actually already kind of figured that I might actually do a 10k this year as well. Um, I kind of started getting fit like, about a year ago. Um, I started doing yoga at first just to help soothe my anxiety when it was really bad and then I added in a bit of cardio which is always really good because it kind of boosts my mood so when my depression was really bad too it kind of made me feel a bit better um, and I went from I started off with a character 5k program um, just at home on my cross trainer because I didn't have sort of childcare and things 
Um, and it was really good because I went from being able to, you know, barely run for a minute without dying or feeling like I was going to die to being able to sort of, you know, now I sometimes sort of run 5 6k quite happily and easily. So, yeah, I've saved so a been for a run this morning and I run 5k. I've started going out, I've sort of, the last couple of times the kids have been with their dad, I've gone for a run on my own and I actually took Kiki Bayo and Beastie with me on Tuesday for a run because Kiki and Bayo have decided not to run to races with me too. So I'm getting them to train. So we went for a run with Beastie in his push chair, which is quite good fun. He thought it was great flying on the streets. He thought it was really fun. Um, I actually do want to buy a proper running push chair so we can go out a bit more because I was just using my bookaboo, which is okay, but it wasn't that great. Um, so yeah, we've kind of been doing a little bit of research trying to find a few 5Ks and a 10K that we can enter. Um, I struggled a little bit for Bea because some of them seem to have got age limits where she can, she's just a bit under eight. But we found a couple that she can do and a couple that Kiki can do with me. And then I think I'm going to aim for a 10k sort of in the summer. So yeah, 5k planned. So um, I have actually got a blog post planned about sort of my fitness journey and what else I'm doing and training and things. So I'll try and get that finished soon. Um, other than my big fitness goals and learning to drive and vlogging, a lot of it is just kind of sort of smaller things, things like keeping a daily gratitude journal and drinking more water because while I cut out caffeine about a year ago, I still drink a lot of tea and coffee um, and just not enough water so I've been kind of filling up a big bottle first thing in the morning and just making myself a bit more because I've noticed that I was getting, sort of getting tiredness headaches a lot when I'm really thirsty just because I haven't drunk very much water in the daytime. Then there are things like reading at least 12 fiction books through the year. I've actually just finished my first one and I'm not even, I'm in like halfway through January so I'm doing quite well. I read quite a lot last year but a lot of sort of um, like self-help and sort of spirituality kind of books as opposed to fiction and I really do love just getting lost in a really good novel and kind of escaping into a cool story so if you've got any book recommendations of fiction that I should read then please let me know because I probably haven't read them because I haven't read very many fiction books for the last few years so um yeah 12 books is my aim but I'm hoping for a little bit more and that's just fiction books I'm sure there'll be other books that I read as well then there's things sort of like uh, writing a book. So last winter, sort of 2016 into 2017, I wrote loads and loads and loads and loads. Journaling was like my, my therapy. So when my marriage was splitting up, then that was kind of the way I dealt with it. And I, you know, just wrote. And um, I actually wrote like 40,000 words of some kind of book. And also started the outline for another sort of like mini book so my plan this year is to finish at least one of those and publish it i might just do the mini one and self publish it i don't know but it's kind of always been a sort of a bit of a goal in my background at the back of my head then of writing a book so this could be the year um and then other than that, it was things like stepping out of my comfort zone and saying yes a little bit more, which is going alongside this vlogging because I begin to realise that the things that scare me the most are actually the things that I need to do because they push me a little bit um, and challenge myself rather than just going, oh no, I can't do that, I'm too scared, so I'm going to do that. Um, and also things like painting more because, you know, I'm not some sort of Vincent van Gogh but I really enjoy painting and art journaling um, and it really makes me feel good to be creative and just to have fun and to express myself in that way so I just kind of need to figure a way of making that maybe not every day but at least sort of a few times a week of just giving myself that dedicated time just to go and paint um, even if it means involving the kids because then you know if they're painting then I could paint too so we shall see and I also really, really, really want to learn to crochet this year because it really bothers me that I can't. I can knit quite well and I can't crochet. And I have tried in the past and um, I kind of managed to crochet like some little bracelet that was basically just like a straight line so it wasn't too complicated. But I always look at those beautiful granny blankets that you can buy and really, really want to be able to make myself one. So I think I might try to do that this year. That's sort of about the gist of my goals. But you 
can look at the full list and everything over my blog, I will put the link below. Um, if you have any questions you'd like to ask or any suggestions for other videos that you might like to see or things you might want me to talk about, then please comment below and let me know and I will hopefully be back very soon.